I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard headed to Peak 15 and discovered that it had been overrun by the thought long extinct Rachni. She was able to find some survivors at the Rift Station and unfortunately found out that they were working for Benezia herself. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. Uh, in today's episode, Commander Corey Shepard is going to finish what she can on Ovaria and see the aftermath of that on the Normandy. And uh, this is our, our final story world that we were given right when we became a, a specter so this is this is a really big deal and i'm really excited for this episode because it is very very action-packed huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every single day around 2 p.m eastern sincerely appreciate you guys uh and and it means the world that you guys are supporting this series so we have a lot to do today let's jump into it uh we are level 26 as we start this journey only four levels left to go all of the guards for the most part have been defeated by none other than me uh and how awesome i am because this restricted area we hacked it you know we we heard that uh captain ventralis in the last episode that he was kind of a jerk and we we didn't we didn't really like that so he tried to trick us into going into the hot labs where he was hoping that we would be murdered that's because he's actually employed by benezia herself and uh he has a, a job to kill us. So if we had gone to the hot labs and come back, we would have had to kill them anyways. So we were able to get the jump on them. That's what you get when you mess with Commander Corey Shepard, let me tell you. Anyways, we're going to head down to the maintenance area, even though we did clear the restricted area. And that's because we have more enemies that we can take out here. And I want to make sure that we get as much XP as we can. Now, funny enough, you'll notice that this guard here is dead this is the one that was killed by alestia in the last episode um you can't do any damage to this to this guard you can't you can't singularity it oh you can't singularity him and then you can oh that's cool i didn't know you could do that well the guard that was dead is back alive and let me just we don't want no zombie turians so let me put him down real quick i did not know that that would work but it did that's funny Hey, let's go ahead and finish off this second guard. This we've already been down here. There we go, nice and easy. Uh, if you remember, this is where Han Ular was. He's gone though. Hopefully, still alive, but he is gone. So we're gonna go to the maintenance area. We no longer need permission to come here. And if we head to the back, we can get more XP. Now this is the way that you can come without triggering all the guards and everything. This is kind of like the way you are allowed to. But as we go, we will find a Rachni soldier, which we'll go ahead and put to stasis go ahead and just finish it off look at that 311 xp it's so worth it to do that let me tell you thank you garris guys my friends we're gonna have some big boss fights coming up so let's go ahead and open this storage locker on our way and heading on moving on from there we find another room that it seems we could go into we're gonna wait to approach that one You'll see that there's a door here. If we go through this door, if we skip the one that's on the side here, and instead go through this door here, we'll find a technician kit and upgrade kit, and we can grab these items real quick. And coming through here, we find another elevator that actually leads to the restricted area. So it kind of connects. The maintenance area and the restricted area all connect to the same spot. But we've already defeated everything, so I just wanted to point out that that does that. And if you wanted all of the items and all of the experience, you kind of have to go both ways to get to get the most complete run out of Rift Station. So that means we only have one spot to go. And remember, we're saving the hot labs until after we confront Matriarch Benezia, which is in this room down this elevator. I highly recommend equipping your best stuff. Anything that protects you against biotics is going to be incredibly useful here. You're not going to be fighting any Rachni in this boss fight. So I recommend using physics mods, all that jazz. So we're going to go ahead and equip the combat exoskeleton, which is going to give us a plus 70% physics threshold, which is really, really going to help us out. We're going to go in with our pistol with the high explosive rounds, making sure that it's useful. And we see Matriarch Venezia right in front of us. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. 
Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Benezia thinking that that's why Liara's here. Before her, the Rachni Queen. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. Oh no! And Matriarch Benezia is going to put our entire squad into stasis as she calls in ally Asari Commando to try to take us down. Unfortunately for them, my biotics are better. We get a nice auto save and immediately we are going to stasis one of these and hopefully be able to lift the other one that's in the back there. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and finish the Asari Commando that's right in front of our faces as the other one is dies as it's lifted into the sky. First wave is done. Next, we'll have to deal with some Geth Snipers, which we can actually go ahead and take out if we're fast enough to get over here. We'll hopefully be able to cast a Singularity over by where all of them are. Another Asari Commando running in. We're going to go ahead and toss her around. And stasising this one while popping barrier on ourselves to make sure that we're nice and strong. Finishing out that commando and taking down the other one that has barrier on herself. Another one down. And now we need to watch for the Geth Troopers and Snipers that have approached. Geth Sniper on the ground being defeated. Now, Matriarch Benezia is completely immune during this part of the fight. We cannot do anything to Benezia. However, you'll see that she has a power level in the bottom right-hand corner. Once that's gone, she won't be able to have the shield that she has up which is actually a new addition here in the Legendary Edition before she would just kind of stand there being immune. Now she actually has a bubble around her to kind of show off that she cannot be trifled with. We're going to immediately throw out our own Singularity here. See if we can get some of these Geth Shock Troopers in and an overload from Garrus just to help out on that sniper as a trooper goes down. And unfortunately for these Geth, the Shock Troopers go down as well. Behind us, we need to watch out for a Geth Destroyer that's coming in. We're gonna go ahead and toss him as he charges, eliminating him from the fight. And we have more that we can come in. Now you'll see the dome I was talking about as we approach Venezia. We can't do anything here. It's it just kind of acts like cover if you walk up to it, which is kind of funny. Again, we need to watch out for Geth that are on the other side here, but we have the power of Liara to stasis some of these remaining Geth. All three of them. Look at them. Cutes. Go ahead and toss one away finishing it off and they all fall this is not over saren is unstoppable my mind is filled with his light everything is clear the rachni didn't cooperate with you why should i i will not betray him you will you You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why should I believe Why are you? are able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign? Where did he get that? Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. 
You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How do you lose one of the giant Mass Effect relays? How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. And that's why you're here? Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Whoa, wait a minute. So the Rachni found this new relay. How did the Rachni find it? They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures driven to close any possible way into their systems. Can you tell me more about Saren's plan? Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. And you regret it? You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Oh, this is bad. Poor Liara having to watch her mom become this. We're immediately going to throw Matriarch Venezia into a stasis. Unfortunately, getting us first. We're gonna go ahead and buy, uh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and warp both of us here. Actually, we're gonna warp with Liara and Marksman with Shepard, and then we're going to put as much damage as we can into Matriarch Venezia, who's taken down immediately. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can. No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> Poor Venezia. A victim of Saren's. And we get 6,000 experience, a bunch of Omnigel. Metagel, but as we approach the Rachni Queen. Oh no, Shepard. Behind you! This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are...
colorless. I'm confused. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Oh, are you controlling the Asari? How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. So the Rachni Queen is fully capable of understanding us and speaking to us. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. Those, those poor Rachni children. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. One of the biggest choices that you have in Mass Effect 1. Let's hear about what the Rachni Queen is thinking. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Interesting. Oily darkness. So something was speaking to them similar to how Saren was speaking to Benezia. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. The singing planet. Well, we have an option here, and... I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. That can only be useful for Commander Corey Shepard, let me tell you. And just like that, we're going to free the last surviving Rachni Queen.
Now, how that Raconite Queen is going to go off and, and live her life, uh, don't ask me. Also, I want to point out that we got the trophy, the Honorarium of, of Corporate Service. Uh, and also, Benezia's body is here, unfortunately. I'm really sorry about that, Liara. Agreed. I'm really sorry about that. And uh, they nerfed this whole fight. This used to be one of the hardest fights in the game. And they, oh boy, did they nerf this baby to be so, so easy. This was one of the hardest fights in the game before the Legendary Edition. And they added a bunch of cover. And they changed kind of how things work. And they, uh, back in the day, when Benezia would turn on you, she would also summon more commandos. So you would have not just her. You would also have a bunch of other ones. Um, they did not. That didn't happen at all. Uh, I could have sworn there was also crates back in the day, but apparently that is no longer an option. So there's no items that we can get anymore here. Uh, and uh, I guess we could just move on. But yeah, I was very surprised coming in here to see how easy the Matriarch Venezia fight was. So it's time for us to head out. You'll notice that we did get that trophy, meaning Novaria is complete, but we do still have the Hot Labs quest that we need to undergo. So by coming out of here, we'll end up by the tram which we're not going to take the tram because there's, like I said, there's more to do here. And now we can head to the hot labs by summoning an elevator. We're going to head to the hot labs and see what we can do there. I do recommend saving the hot labs for last or else it kind of ruins some of the immersion that you get throughout the rift station. Uh, so this is, this is a perfect time to head here. This is going to be a big Rachni fight area, so I do recommend equipping... You're actually not going to be fighting any synthetics at all here. Um, so I do recommend equipping anything that you've been using to deal with the Rachni organics. And in front of us, we have somebody named Yarselev Tartakovsky. This is the Hot Labs. This place we heard was infested with Rachni. It was shut down and nobody could get through. We're going to wait a second to talk to this guy here. So we look around, make sure everything's okay. Everything seems okay. Let's go ahead and chat with this guy. Are you here to secure the situation? Why are you just sitting here? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let them lose. You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Being the Rachni queen. A thousand year old egg hatched. Uh, you already know this, yes. Shepard. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. There was no male? Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. We can still save them. Then all them. we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but... They must be euthanized. Uh, I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. And what's that? I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. All right. Well, give us a minute. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> That's true. I always say I would meet a bad end. Yeah, and she wasn't lying to you. So it looks like the neutron purge that we needed to get is actually this way. But we can't activate it yet. There's a Mira terminal here. No items or anything. Connecting. 
I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. So let's ask her about what's going on here. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me an estimate. <sighs> Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Oh my god, VI sucks. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are um, no other living crew members within the lab structure. Well, that's a bug. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Interesting. Let's log we're out here. On. We're not going to ask her anything yet. Let's go back and talk to this guy. I think we're ready to get the neutron purge code from him. Let's see what he says. I am feeling not so well. I'm not familiar with the purge. It creates burst of neutron radiation. It kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. All right. Just tell me how. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Nera the stuff. Oh no! That Rachni is not happy about this plan. And we immediately are going to have to take one down as it's right next to us, so it hits us. And we'll put it into a stasis so that we can just finish it off very quickly. Good as new. Go ahead and pop a medi there. That's it. Let's go ahead and check Yarsalef's body here so that we can obtain the purge code. This poor guy, man, his chest is just completely ripped out. All right, we got the codes. Now let's go talk to Mira and insert those codes. Can you believe that we still haven't leveled up in this episode? Unbelievable. All right, Mira. And let's go ahead and... Operate Online. the purge now. Trust I me, you? you're gonna want to save because this part Activate can, the neutron get, purge. can get a little hairy. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Lucky for you, I have the code. Code input eight seven five zero two zero zero seven nine. Code Omega local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in one hundred and twenty seconds. Uh, two minutes. We only have two minutes. We have two minutes to get out of here, and a bunch of Rachni are going to be waiting for us. We're going to go ahead and start pumping here. Now, you could just run through, pop barrier or something, and just run through and not deal with any of these. But uh, where's all the XP in that? You know what I mean? So we're going to take down as many as we can as we approach. You'll see that we have so many, including a bunch of workers, that we're going to keep attacking here. Unfortunately, our squad not really doing that great on doing anything that's actually going to be of use but we're going to keep attacking them as much as possible because this is a ton of xp and you will see how much xp we're getting look at how many enemies supposedly are here another rack knife falling there we'll take down the ones that pop up on the side and we'll also throw a singularity just so we can get them floating in the sky potentially taking even more out here we want to make sure that we're watching that timer we only have a little bit less than a minute we do not want that timer to go away so be very bad for us. We'll kill as many as we can while we can. But we're not going to overstay our welcome. Let's go ahead and stasis this. Getting hit, we'll go ahead and pop a medigel. Another one down. It looks like that is all of the Rachni that we can I'll defeat in here. Now. Yes, thank you, Garrus. I was I was literally just saying that. So you'll see that there's a bunch of red on the sides. Uh, that's just how many there are, but not all of them will come out. So let's take the elevator out of here. We are purging this place with the Neutron Purge. And just like that, the hot labs have been destroyed. Friends, you can Run come around. out. Yeah, you can. You can come here. Let me pop another med. You got. All right, you guys just hang out to over me. there. Whoa, they just teleported. Okay, so that is all that we could do on Novaria, my friends. We have just completed the third main story worlds of Mass Effect One. We are cruising towards the end here, my friends. One of the biggest worlds of the game is now done. So let's take the tram out of here. And we're back move, on the Normandy. The new relay? Just like that. We didn't have to do anything else. You love to see it. Ashley asking what our next move is, and not, we're the not going there just yet. To dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? All right, calm down. We're all Williams. on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, commander. 
Ah, oh, it's all right. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes, please. We're going to need to talk to them. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? No, I just made that up. You released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? I have faith that they won't. This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. That is a very big deal, isn't it? It almost sounds like it's such a good thing to do, but if there's ever a Mass Effect 4, you might end up finding out that, hey, you know what was actually a really bad idea? Setting the Rakai Queen free. Yes, that's the main enemy of... Uh, oh, my bad, my bad. Anyways, we now have access... Yes, Commander? ...to the... Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. To the Normandy, and as always, we are going to check in with everybody that we can, starting off with Joker and hear what funny shenanigans Seth Green has to say to us. I mean, Joker has to say to us. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. Oh, okay. I have to Makes go. Makes sense. All right, see ya. Thanks, Joker. And let's go talk to some other folks. Heading down, the first person that we're going to talk to is our lost love, Caden. Well, actually, we're going to open our locker first because free stuff. Nice. All right, Caden, what do you got? Anything you need, Commander? Yeah, tactical What's your appraisal. opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's heard him, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. I mean, she's like a hundred and something years old, but yeah, no, I get Any it. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record, if we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here during the Rachni war. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. You know what? Actually, that's a really good point. We weren't. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. That's all we can get from Caden, which means that our next choice is Liara herself. Hello, beautiful. My blue baby. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Yeah, but... Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. She's still with the you, best Liara. of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Damn right you are. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. Perfect. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye, Liara. I love you. All right, let's see. We got Garrus, Rex, Ashley, and Tally to talk to, which Tally, of course, Mass Effect 1 doesn't really get to offer us too much. Now, if we head down and talk to the Alliance Requisition Officer, we'll notice that he now sells the Spectre Master Gear that's available. Some pieces, anyways. He sold this for quite a while, but I thought I would just show what he has. Uh, it's not really better than what we have, but still, you know, in case in case you don't have that, um, it's reasonable to pick it up. It's fairly cheap. We're not going to worry about that stuff yet. Instead, we're going to check in with Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Who's just going to say the same stuff that he's always said? Goodbye, Commander. That was really rude. We handled that really rude. Let's talk to Ashley. Commander, what's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Interesting. That that Ashley Dismissed, is showing... Chief. Is showing some ma'am love for Liara, even though she's an alien. Very interesting. Rex, my Shepard. dude. 
you don't really have anything to say to us, so thanks. Rex. Good talk, bud. And Tally's gonna be in the same boat. Yep, she was. So that means that if we look at our journal now, we'll see that we have Vermeyer and Race Against Time. Really, the only place that we can go for main story-wise is Vermeyer. That's it. But we still have some other things that we can do. Uh, some other little assignments that we have, like Dr. at Riss from the mission that we got on Novaria, Besieged Base that we ended up getting from being a Paragon, and uh, the Citadel, the Fan, that is still an active assignment for us. So, heading to the Galaxy map, we have some things, I think, that we can fit into this episode. We've already gotten the Completionist Trophy, so we can pretty much ignore everything, but we're going to head out of the PAX system in the Horsehead Nebula. So, we'll leave Novaria behind us the snowy wasteland of a world the deck. it has been a long time my friends since we've been to the citadel but we're gonna quickly make a stop real quick quickly make a stop being in Don't the city judge must me. feel good after digging through rocks at that prothean ruin no cities and stations were always my mother's area of comfort I actually enjoy the solitude of dig sites. I'm surprised. I've never met an Asari who didn't prefer clean clothes and a hot bath. Now, upon coming to the CSEC requisitions officer that's off on the side there, we can find a Metagel upgrade number four in this case, which we'll go ahead and buy, which will increase our capacity of Metagel one more, which is very nice. And there is only one more upgrade that we can possibly get for the Metagel. And that, my friends, is over by the med clinic. Dr. Chloe Michelle, our credit-making machine. Yes, Commander, is it? Of course. We can finally buy our last upgrade here for the Metagel. This will give us the max amount of Metagel capacity at 10, which is pretty nice of her to give us. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. As you can see, we now have 10 Metagel. you love to see it. But that's not the final thing we can do here. By heading to the market area, we can do a little bit more. Like talk to Expat to grab a grenade upgrade that we missed and an R-Max Arsenal license. Perfect. And it looks like our fan, Conrad hey, Werner, is back. Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Oh, remember yeah. Me? Yeah, I remember. What's up, dude? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. I kind of thought that's why you were my fan. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. A legion? Hey, can I get your picture? Uh, yeah. I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Okay, a little creepy, but... Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Well, that was, you know, last time he asked me for an autograph, this time he asked me for a picture, and you know what? I'm happy to do it, buddy. I'm happy to do it. You seem like a good guy. Heading back to the CSEC requisitions officer. Now that we got our grenade upgrade, we can scroll to the bottom of his list for yet another grenade upgrade, this time increasing it by yet another one, uh, which means that there's only one left that we can grab, and that's actually from an old Hanar that we know. It's time to head to the Presidium, the financial district to be precise, because over in this area here is a Hanar named Delin, Delon, the Emporium shopkeeper. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Let him know that we'd like to buy some standard items like the Ceres Council License and a Grenade Upgrade 5. Thank you so much, my friend. And just like that, we now have all of our Grenade Upgrades and Metagel Upgrades. Perfect. And just like that, we're back on the Normandy. Real quick, I want to show you what we're going to be doing in the next episode. After completing the events on Novaria, the sixth Theta Cluster has appeared as a place to go with two different systems that we can then approach. Archeron, Acheron, and uh, Erebus are the two that we can go to. And we will be doing those in the next episode as we complete every single side quest that is available to us in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. 
thank you guys so much for watching yet another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We completed Novaria, which was awesome, and I'm so glad we were able to do that. Like I said, in the next episode, we're going to tackle the rest of the side quests that we could do in the game. The one after that, we're going to be doing the Bring Down the Sky DLC. And uh, by that point, all that's left is Vermeer and the end of the game. So I am so excited uh, for getting to the, the conclusion area, if you will, of Mass Effect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. And uh, I love I love hanging out with you in the in the premiere. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, a huge shout out to the patrons over on Patreon.com slash Missile Online. Uh, because of you guys, I'm able to do this series. Sincerely appreciate you. There's a bunch of rewards that you can check out there as well, as well as some uh, Nerd Herd merch that you can grab. So if you want to become a patron, uh, the link is in the description to patreon.com slash missile Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Asari Commandos. Bye, everyone.